Hi, feeding our fish is one of the most important tasks in any fish farm. However, in addition to the nutritional quality of any diet that we may use for feeding our fish, it's also important how we feed our fish. And in this video, we are going to talk about different strategies for feeding our animals. The traditional and oldest method for feeding our fish is by hand. Normally, fish farmers tend to feed their fish just throwing the pellets inside the ponds regularly. But however, depending on the biomass that we have in our tanks, the size of our fish farm, and the number of kilos of feed that we have to distribute per day, this could be very labor intensive and dedicate a lot of personal work per day. So, other strategies have been developed in order to automate these systems of feeding in fish farms. The most common automatic feeder that you may find in the market is the so-called automatic belt feeder. This feeder consists in a belt that runs during a certain amount of time in, during which the feed that is placed here starts to fall at different times and intervals in the tanks, ponds or aquaria. However, this type of feeders have two main disadvantages. The first one is that they are not recommended for indoor use. I mean, spaces with a high humidity content in the air are not the best ones for using this type of feeders since the feed gets attached to the carpet, may decompose during the day or during the following days and not the feed may end at the end inside the tanks. So, are generally recommended for open air spaces with a low humidity content in the air. In addition, the time that the carpet takes to roll and to take all the feed inside the tanks is quite short, between 12, 10 hours, depending on the model. So when you want to use these feeders for a longer period of time, you should maintain them or unroll the carpet several times per day, depending on your feed strategy. Another type of automatic feeders are those that you may find in your houses for feeding your animals that you have as pets in little aquariums. These kinds of feeders are generally used with the small diets of a small diameter size or micro diets in nursery and hatcheries for fishes and needs electricity for working. So normally there's a pair of batteries that are inserted inside and here there is a little rotor that dispenses the feed depending on your hours that you have programmed, as you can see in this little image. However, these kind of feeders are just recommended when we want to distribute a small quantity of feed to our fish. When we want or we need to distribute a higher amount of feed per day, kilos, we need to change and upscale our system to larger automatic feeders. This type of automatic feeders don't need batteries as the previous one, and they are branched to the electricity by a cable cord. These feeders have different parts, like a little silo where we put our feet with a cover in order to prevent humidity to spoil our fish. Then you have a motor that turns a drum, and this drum, whenever it, it turns around an axis, starts to distribute feed by the bottom. These feeders have the advantage that we have programmed them many times per day and many feeds per day so we can use them at our desire for feeding our fish. They are the most expensive in the market because they need for working to be connected with a special software that controls the little motor that is inside the automatic feeder, which increases their cost very much in comparison to the bell feeders that we have seen before or the automatic feeders out of them and that we are going to see now. This is the self-demand feeder. This feeder differentiates from the rest that it works when the fish wants to eat, when the fish is hungry. The other models distribute feed at different times of the day whenever the fish farm wants. But this one just distributes the feed when the fish is hungry, which means that the feed is used more efficiently with regards to the other ones. Since in some environmental conditions, climate conditions, fish may be stressed and these feeders may distribute feed, but fish won't eat it. However, with these ones, we can optimize the feed distribution in our tanks or ponds because they only work when our fish are hungry, as I told you before.
Okay, folks, we have seen different ways to feed our fish using different automatic feeders. So now it's up to you to decide which better feeds for your facilities and fish farm. Good luck and see you again.